Starting with SP Column 10, a model can be made with multiple solid shapes each capable of containing multiple openings. These complex cross-sections are encountered in buildings, bridges, and numerous other structures. Let's examine this hypothetical bridge pier to illustrate. For section at the base of the pier, we need to model a single solid with three circular openings. Add a circular opening 18 inches in radius at the center of the pier. Use the duplicate tool to create the second opening. The mirror tool can be used to create the final opening in this section. Now we can proceed to solve the model with multiple openings and review strength results. The top of the pier section requires a model with two separate solids with one opening in each. Start with a single solid with an opening and use the duplicate tool to create the second part of the pier model and proceed to solve. Multi-solid models are very useful for building cores elevator shafts and staircases. This example shows a hypothetical six elevator bank core wall assembled as one model and solved to investigate the core wall by axial strength. A convenient method for modeling and editing complex sections is to draw base shapes that are in contact or overlapping to create the desired final shape. Let's examine a hypothetical barbell shear wall to illustrate this modeling technique. Starting with a regular rectangular section with equally spaced bars, create a square column with the desired reinforcing. Use the move tool to attach the column to the wall, then use the mirror tool to attach another column to the opposite end. This shear wall can be solved with a multi-solid model comprised of three solids in contact. The size and reinforcement pattern are retained for further editing within the model. In multi-solid models, the user has a choice to merge the shapes into one final combined model, or the shapes can be kept separate to facilitate modification to the shape geometry and the bar arrangement. The SP Column Solver requires merging of multi-solid shapes only when these shapes are overlapped. Thank you for watching. Please visit structurepoint.org for more information.